good morning students today we'll see about orthogonal frequency division multiplexing that is yftm technology it is a kind of a multi carrier modulation technique so first of all we'll see what is multi carrier modulation because of multipath propagation time domain spreading of signal inter symbol interference occurs because of this frequency selective fading distortion or signal detection becomes difficult so multi carrier modulation converts this frequency selective fading into a flat fading channel flat fading makes signal detection easier that for uh, mcm that is multi carrier modulation easily removes inter symbol interference multi carrier modulation transmit data over several carrier frequencies simultaneously and here each substream modulates a different carrier frequency so now the parallel conversion of lowers the data rate and bandwidth in each substream so these are the points which we have to uh, remember in a, a multi carrier modulation technique so now based on this we'll come to the operation of multi carrier modulation technique so here the modulation scheme which can be used is either psk or quark so signal from each data stream will be summed together to form a transmitted signal so now here no change in original data rate or the system bandwidth will be there but the inter symbol interference is eliminated so uh, the understanding here is a multi carrier modulation system needs a larger bandwidth which is spectrally inefficient but a multiple carriers and multiple oscillator increases the bandwidth but oftm is a special case of multi carrier modulation system which addresses all the above issues which is there in the multi carrier modulation system okay so now com coming to the concept of oftm system in an oftm system uh, the system bandwidth is divided into set of parallel overlapping uh yet orthogonal subbands which are independent to each other the data is first splitted into independent streams which are then modulated in a different subcarriers then they are multiplexed to create an ofdm signal ofdm is a special case of ftm significantly improves the spectral efficiency and uh they avoid the need of band pass filters and also a bank of oscillators can be uh, replaced digitally so these are the advantages of oftm so this is uh, the um uh, pictorial representation of an oftm uh, symbol and an ftm so you can compare this oftm and ftm where oftm symbols are overlapping each other so uh, to represent the same information the bandwidth is been saved <coughs> in uh, frequency and here we are wasting lot of frequency in terms of god bands <coughs> so the overall um, ofdm signal is uh, representation is this here all the signals maintain orthogonality so one is at high the other will be low amplitude so the zero intercept interference will be there so this is the block diagram of an ofdm system where the signal will be given uh, the uh, input data will be given to a modulator where uh, it will be modulated and all the serial data will be converted into parallel for all the parallel data we will uh, yeah, give this as an input to an ifft where again it will be converted into uh, serial data we will add cyclic prefix and then we will convert into analog and then we will forward into a wireless channel so the reverse operation will be taking care in the reverse side where uh, the filter out the noise and then it will be converted back into um, analog and then i will remove the uh, cyclic prefix it will be converted into um, the serial data will be converted into parallel data and it will be given to an f50 ft f50 FFT section where it will be uh, again converted into serial data and then we will demodulate it and original data rate which will be transmitted will be get so this is the simplified block diagram of an ofdm uh, system architecture so what is the need for adding a cyclic prefix inside the system so uh, suppose if there is an aliasing or interference occurs 
then we cannot filter out the signal. So instead of that, the tail part of information will be added to the uh, prefix part. The cyclic part will be added in a prefix and we need not to give any god interval so that unwanted delay or wastage of bandwidth can be eliminated. So the cyclic prefix will eliminate uh, the wastage of power. Apart from that, the uh, loss of information also can be minimized. The advantages of OFDMS uh, it, it permits densely packed and overlapping subcarriers, so it offers spectrally efficient transmission scheme and can be digitally implemented using fast and efficient signal processing, permits flexible use of spectrum, supports different modulation schemes based on channel condition, almost completely avoid the need of an equalizer which is there in a conventional system. So all the technology, though it have an advantage, it will have a disadvantage too. Uh, coming to the disadvantage of uh, OFDM, it requires high PAPR, that is peak average to power ratio, that is a number of independently modulated subcarriers results in high PAPR. So nonlinear power amplifier, uh, efficient but cannot be used. And it also causes the degradations of uh, due to high distortion and out-of-band radiations. And it leads to complexity also for the system. So these are the disadvantage of OFM. So on the whole, uh, the multi carrier mod uh, modulation uh, gives us uh, higher data rate, increased capacity um, uh, without any intersymbol interference, uh, high data rate can be uh, delivered to the um, uh, subscriber in a quick fashion. Uh, students, I hope uh, you all understand uh, about the concept of uh, OFDM technology. Uh, so for this, we'll have some more uh, review questions so that you will, I'll find out whether you understand the concept.